Hello everybody and YouTube, thank you very much for coming and having a look today. I am going to be having a quick look at Vampire Vapes, Rainbow Skull. Dun, dun, dun. Interesting packaging that, isn't it? If I ever get into focus. There we go. I can't make my mind up if it is kitschy and cool or if it looks like it was drawn by a 10 year old thinking what a zombie would look like if he was Elvis Presley. Anyway, you'll see that the one that I've got today is zero nicotine um, and I'm also, sorry it's zero nicotine and it's obviously allegedly 100% VG. I, I, I can't see how you get 100% VG, well the VG part of it might be, you know, as maxed out as possible, there's going to be other things in there that are not VG, so you're not going to get 100%, but that's just a little picky point from me. Now I have used it a little bit, but as it's a cloud Jason juice, I am going to be going straight in today on the Sigeli with my Doge clone. I've got a dual coil running. Um, and in that coil I have got uh, 22 gauge, um, 6 wraps a side, over a 2.5 mil bit. So oh, I'll just dribble that everywhere. Look how thick this stuff is. Ready? It's crazy thick. That puppy is not going to be going into any tanks. Um, but, right, what we got going on then? Um, dribbled a little bit of it out. I'm going to kick it off, like I say, with uh, 50 watts. There we go. On a 0.2 build. And we'll see what we're at. I will have the airflow wide open. It's a cloud Jason juice at the end of the day, so we'll give it a blat and see what it's like. That's not too horrific, is it? It's not brilliant, but it's not too horrific. Um, what have Vampire Vape got to say about this? Let's have a little look. Rainbow Skull. Taste the citrus rainbow and the deadly bite it gives you. Not for wimps. Bum, bum, bum. How? I'm not entirely sure how it's not for wimps, to be fair. Granted, my taste buds are poo, as I've said before in other, other reviews, but I can taste citrus. I can taste... It's like a, a, a very lime-orientated kind of fruit squash. I would imagine it's very sweet. It's very sweet. Um, you get some on your lips, and you can really kind of go home with the sweetness. Um, and it's very sugary sweet, if that makes sense. Um, let's take this up. It's a cloud chasing juice after all. Let's go to eighty watts. Let's see what the production's like. <coughs> for something that's so sweet <coughs> it has a bit of a dry hit on the back of your throat and it's 100% VG so it can't be it's not the PG to blame and it's not the uh, nicotine to blame yeah it's very strange because it's really sweet and then yeah. it's a cloud chasing juice does it come across as a cloud chasing juice? Well, I'll let you be the judge, but I personally do not think so. I think I have had other mixes that are 70 30, VG in sort of focused, and um, have been a better mix, to be honest with you, from a vapor production point of view. The taste, how do I feel about the taste? The taste is, it's got a taste of um, citrus, you can taste the lime. Um, you can taste other. Th you can, I can't personally taste all of the delicate back notes. If there's someone 
with a very delicate and fine palate out there, then fantastic. I hope you can taste apple and orange and lemon and or whatever is in there. However, I can't. I can taste the lime and I can taste a fruit squash behind it. Can I taste whatever makes it not for wimps? Hell no. There might be a little bit of, of menthol just kicking around in the back end there just to brighten things up. I can feel my lips kind of tingling a little bit. Um, but is it is it as angry as it sounds? No. Is it as, is it as cloudy as it sounds? My opinion, no. And taste, is it, as an, is it a citrus rainbow? Whoa. Possibly, I've never been on a citrus rainbow. But... It's, it's an average taste. I'd, I'm not unliking it, but I'm not really digging it either. So, all in all, Vampire Vapes, which is a shame because Vampire Vapes makes some great juice. And I've, I was looking forward to this high VG stuff for so long, as I dare say a lot of other people were as well. But, is that boy a bad boy a winner for me tonight? No. No. Would I buy it? No. Um... I swapped some juice for this one, so I'm, I'm quite pleased I haven't paid for it. But you know, it's pleasant enough. I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to diss it. I'd, I'd happily drip it in the absence of having sort of one of one of my other flavours kicking about. But um, am I going to get excited about it? Am I going to go and buy some? No, I'm not. Um, but anyway, that's my little review. Everyone's tastes are different. If we all like the same thing, it'd be a dull old world. So I hope you enjoyed what little it was uh, to give you. I didn't want to drone on too much. I'll give you another blast of it. Let's take it up to 90 watts this time. 95. Let's see where we're at. There. There you go. Got a dry one there as well. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. I'm now going to do a review for the... Um, Vampire Vapes High VG Dark Passenger and I've got other reviews to come this week I've got a couple of tube mods to have a look at and maybe a an RDA or two so please tune in please subscribe and thank you very much for watching have yourselves a great day and keep on vaping